What's going on everybody? It is your boy Trey Sense and it is that time of the week again. It is time for us to talk about the fragrances that I wore over the past week. So that will make it the weekly fragrance review. Before we get into this, need something from you. Need something from you. Need you to like this video. Need you to share this video. And if it's not asking too much, and you are a repeat offender and keep returning to the scene of the crime, if you don't mind, would you please consider giving your boy a sub? All right, let's get into it, guys. So, fragrances that I wore over the past couple of weeks, not over the past couple of weeks, over the past week, starting with Sunday. I was off last Sunday. And I wore this Saturday night, had an overnight trip, so I wore it Sunday as well from the house of Savage. It is Don't Bore Her, Dior Her, Dior Savage from the house of Dior, not Savage, from the house of Dior, from the line of Savage. It is Savage, the E, D, P, the Eau de Parfum, not the Parfum. I like all three, all four. I like the Elixir. I like the EDT. I like the EDP, which this is. I like the Parfum and I like the Elixir. I just grabbed this one because to me it's the most versatile. You get a little bit of everything with it. Uh, the EDT is very, very loud, very strong. Um, <clears throat> the Parfum is very chill, very subtle. Um, the EDP to me gives you a little bit of loudness, a little bit of subtleness, the incense, a little bit more subtle in it. Get a little bit of a blue vibe from it and I like it. Compliment getting fragrance, but it is very popular and people do recognize it and mispronounce it. Ooh, you got on that Savage. Yes, ma'am, I'm wearing Savage. That's what I wore Sunday, Sunday, Sunday to work. Monday, 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 I pulled out one from a really, really good clone house. And this is a good fragrance and it lasted the entire shift. It smelled good. I like it. I like what it's cloning. I have decants of the original, but it's very expensive. So from the house of Fragrance World, it is Imperium. And this is a clone of Elysium. Beautiful bottle. Love that beautiful blue and gold. Reminds me of my Notre Dame Fighting Irish and my Cherokee High School. Oh, man. That's, that's, that's good. And it's really, really close. I'll say it's about 95% close to the real deal. And I think this was about 30 bucks. I have two fragrances from Fragrance World and they're both really, really nice. This one's good. This one's good. This one, I'll probably end up wearing this one again before the summer uh, is over with us. We're just not getting into the month of May. I like that scent profile. I'll end up wearing that again. But from Fragrance World, that's what I wore. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's Monday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. I wanted to go blue and fresh, so I went with an oldie but a goodie from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. It is Aqua Essenziale. Blue. Remember this one? And I put a nice little dent in this fragrance as well. And it's just what you think it is. It's good. It's crisp. It's clean. It's blue. It's fresh. It's not the reinvention of the wheel. Is it a solid fragrance? Yes, it is. It's a solid fragrance. It's a workhorse of a fragrance. It's the type of fragrance that you can wear every day. At the time that I picked it up, it was very inexpensive. As a matter of fact, it seemed like I picked up a huge gift set for JP on clearance for about 20 bucks, and it was the uh, 100 mil bottle. This is all I need in my collection, and that's fine. But nonetheless, from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo, and it is Aqua Essenziale Blue, and this is a nice blue, woody, soapy type of scent. Very clean, very masculine, very easy very easy that's what i wore tuesday wednesday i went with something a little bit of a curveball um and it may be a little bit out of season for this but i haven't worn it in some years and i just wanted to get it on skin when you have so many fragrances sometimes you forget about them and you just want to wear some of them from the house of english laundry it is windsor 
And this is a parfum concentration, or an EDP at least. And this is very strong. This is a very, very strong fragrance. You, you don't need but a spray, two, maybe three of this, and <laughs> that's just all you need. I absolutely love these colors, that burgundy and gold. My truck, I have an F-150, they're about when I was a young lad that I still have. It's about that color, and I love it. Um, and I love the colors of this bottle. I'm not gonna spray it because it just takes over. A um, little bit spicy. It reminds me a little bit of One Man Show, if you're familiar with that One Man Show. Uh, I can't remember which edition it is, but it, it, it's not gonna be for everybody. It's a very strong scent. Again, this is one that I think is probably suited for colder, cooler weather. I may have worn it a little bit out of its season but i'm one that feels like you can wear anything you want whenever you get ready you just have to watch the sprays and i did i was very mindful of my sprays like i went three maybe four sprays and i think i touched myself up before i went to work and this stuff is beastly this is beastly so it's time to retire this for another year or two but from the house of english laundry it is windsor that's what i wore Wednesday, 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 which brings us to Thursday, 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 the last day of the week. Which one did I wear? Well, hmm. Which one did I wear? Okay. Sunday. I think I am missing one, some kind of one. Is it this one? Is this what I want? Mm -mm. Hmm. I know what I did now. I gave it away. <laughs> I gave it away. The fragrance that I wore Thursday is not going to be represented by a bottle here because the haul that I did, I had to pre-order my fragrances, right? So when I pre-ordered, they gave me a bunch of samples. And one of those samples was uh, from the house of Chanel. It was Blue de Chanel, the Parfum. I had two carded samples, so I wore one and took one with me i gave the extra one that i had to my friend mr luster Eccles. so my scent of the day thursday if i had remembered it before i started this video i would have got a bottle my scent of the day thursday was from the house of chanel and it was blue de chanel the parfum the parfum um very, I won't say very similar to Sauvage, but they are similar. Uh, very, very, especially the Parfum, very inseny, uh, blue, very strong, very powerful, masculine type of fragrance. It's the type of scent, in my opinion, that uh, you either love it or you hate it, but people notice it on you. Whether they like it, that's yet to be desired, but it does smell good. I've yet to spray on Chanel, the EDT, Blue de Chanel, the EDT, and not have somebody like it. I mean, everybody likes that fragrance. It's probably my most liked fragrance, but again, we're talking about the Parfum. It's a little bit more sophisticated. Uh, again, the incense are toned up in it just a little bit, but that's what I wore to work Thursday from a carded sample was uh, from Blue de Chanel. It was Chanel, Blue de Chanel, the Parfum. That brings us to Friday, 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 Friday. I got to go pick up my fragrances and I wanted to wear something that, um, I just want to wear this. I just want to wear this from the house of Giorgio Armani from the line of Aqua de Jo. It is Aqua de Jo Parfum. Not to be confused with the EDT, which is in the clear bottle. I will be getting Parfum. I wish I could find Profundo Lights. Um, man, how much have I used of this already? 
You're kidding, am I already? Right there already, goodness. I put a dent in this already. But that's what I buy these fragrances for us to wear. This smells good. Uh, to me, you have, the reason that I like this one, which is again, the parfum. The reason that I like this one is because to me, you have a little bit of all the Aqua de Jose. I get a little bit of the original. I get a little bit of Profundo. I get a little bit of Profumo. I get a little bit of Profundo lights. And it just smells good. It's like a little bit of all of them rolled into one. I do want that Profundo lights though. But nonetheless, this was my scent of the day, Friday. And I did get a compliment from it. Uh, what I was told, told, I had to get my car checked out. And the lady, when she opened the door to check uh, my VIN number, whatever it is on my car door, she goes, it smells really, really good in this car. It smells really, really good. So. This is a crowd pleaser, but that should be as no surprise to you because everybody knows that Aqua de Joe, the original, is a crowd pleasing fragrance. It just doesn't last that long. But again, I will be getting Aqua de Joe, the EDP, but the Parfum is a nice fragrance as well. Glad to have this one in my repertoire. And it was a surprise to me when I got there and smelled that. I was like, I like that. I'm going to get that. So I did. And that was Friday night, which brings us to the end of the week. And it is Saturday. And I wore a fragrance. And I I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, I may end up selling this one. I just don't know. Performance was great because I could smell it on my skin. On my skin. Not on my shirt, my clothes, on my skin the next day. Um, from the house of Nishane on Nishane whichever way you pronounce it. I'm in the South, so it's Nishane. It is Wu Lung Chu. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is practically a full bottle. It was full when I got it and it's still full. Um, Definitely, definitely a unisex fragrance. I, I do think it leans more feminine than I do masculine. But that's not the reason, you know, that I'm thinking about selling it. it. Fragrances like this on my skin go extra, extra feminine. They go extra, extra sweet. Now, this is a pretty fragrance. This is a pretty boy fragrance. This is a pretty boy fragrance. I'm just going to say it like it is. It's, 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 it's a pretty boy fragrance. Pretty boy fragrance. So don't run out and buy this thinking you're getting some type of masculine. This is not... This is not a Versace per home. That's not what this is. <laughs> this is not Versace man. No, that's not what you're getting here. It's the complete opposite. It's bright. It's green. It's effervescent. It's energetic. It's warm. It's playful. It's springtime. It's a nice wedding. It is a nice pair of jeans and a white button up shirt or a pink button up shirt or colorful, lighthearted, easy, effervescent fragrance to wear. That's what this is. Think spring, think green, and think sharing it with your lady because that's what comes to mind when when I wear this. Um, again, performance A1. Projection, nice. Longevity, <laughs> nice. Does everything that you want a fragrance to do. Um, just when you get it, again, don't expect it to be this rich tobacco or anything like that type of fragrance because it's not it's 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 a floral green floral fragrance and it does smell nice it's it's pretty it's pretty i would like to smell that on a lady to see how it comes off but and I, you know nobody complimented me on it but i may have been smelling amazing and nobody told me but anyway the longevity and projection on it for that is great but um I do like my fragrances a little bit more manly and a little bit more masculine, but nonetheless, it is a good fragrance and it is a pretty fragrance. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I got for you. That's all I got for you. A little, little bit of a teaser this next week. It's Sunday and I started it today. I'm wearing one house this entire week. I've never done this before, but I'm doing it this week. 
the house is Valentino. So next week when we do the weekend fragrance review, it'll be all Valentino. All seven days will be Valentino. So, all right, with that being said, I'm going to get off and I'll probably do that more. I'll probably do that the next probably three or four weeks. I'm gonna try to go one house. Um, with that being said, guys, listen, I love you all. And thank you all so much for being the best part of the channel. If you want decants of anything here, be sure to hit me up on my email and I will tell you what the prices are and we can discuss it. With that being said, I'm going to jump up over here, thumbnail it, edit it, and get it up to you. I love you all. May God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Deuces.